let's continue our customizer learning from where we left off. We will now see what is in colors and dark mode. Here you can see you can select the background color for your site. Click on select color and a color picker appears. You can choose a suited color from here or click anywhere in the color panel to set background color. If you want to get back the default color, just click on the default button and it will reset. After color, you get the option to select the background image. If you want to set a background image all over the site you can do that here. Click on select image and you can either choose an uploaded image or upload a new image. I choose this image as my site's background. Now you see that image is set as background. It is not looking great, so I want to change the image. Change image open up the same image choosing option. Let's choose this balloon image. It is looking better with this background image. Let's see what other changes we can make to the background. Let's stop repeating the image by unchecking this box. I can make the image centered using this image positioning tool. With these changes, the background is looking quite good. Let's increase the view area by hiding these controls. I see one issue here. Some space in the top is not filled with background. Let's scroll down to bottom to see what's the condition there. Same issue at the bottom also. From the preset drop down, let's choose the fill screen. Let's check how the top is looking now. Top is fixed as background image has covered that area. Let's scroll to the bottom. It is looking good at the bottom also. This way you can attach and style a background image for your site. You can remove the background image with the remove button here. Our next customizer configuration is menu. You have already seen how to configure the menu from the dashboard. Customizer provides another way to do that. You see which menus are available and to which menu location those are attached. To create a menu click on the create new menu button. Input the new menu name and you can choose menu location from the checkboxes below. Click on the next button at the bottom to attach menu items to the menu. Menu item choosing options are the same as you have seen in the dashboard, like custom links, or pages, or posts and more. Let's choose this Hello World post. And the item is added to the left. So far I have not attached this new test menu to any location. I choose the primary menu location, and it is updated on the right. If I do not want the primary menu, I can uncheck, and it will be gone. If I choose the menu location to secondary, the new menu will be seen there. Secondary location is at the bottom near the footer. Here is the hello world. Here in the list you can see the new menu and its menu location. Next is the widget. Like the menu, this is another way of adding widgets. You see the already added widgets here. If you want to add a new widget, click on Add a Widget, and another window shows up with an available widget listing. Let's add a calendar widget. It is added after the recent comments widget. Configuration option of the widget is also here. Let's add a title to this calendar widget. You can see it is changing dynamically as I type in. I am done, and I want to rearrange the widgets. You see its position is changing live as I drag it up. Let's make this the first widget of the widget list. I drag it to the top and it's the first widget. Home page settings are quite straightforward. You already have seen this exact settings in the reading settings in the dashboard. This is just another way of doing the same thing. If you want to show a particular page as the home page, you can select from the drop down. I select the about page as the home page, and home page is showing the same content as about. 
If you want your homepage to show blog posts, select your latest posts radio button. The lists you are seeing in Customizer vary theme to theme. Some themes offer more setting options through Customizer. Plugins also add new settings in Customizer. If you are someone into CSS design, you can add some CSS quickly though additional CSS. Here in this input box you can add CSS rules. When you make some changes and are happy with the live preview you can make the changes permanent by publishing it. If you do not want to save changes click the cross button. I will publish the changes now and quickly visit the published site. When there are no changes to save, the publish button will be disabled. In the site you can see the site icon is appearing, also the site title is changed, and we can see the logo in the published site. At the bottom we can see the calendar widget and the secondary hello world menu at the bottom. These changes were made through Customizer and it is now on the site as I had published those changes. Also these changes are the same as they looked in the live preview. Practice with different options in the Customizer and see the changes in the site. After that move to the next lecture.